So today I'm gonna talk about psychological factor. Remember, uh, whatever you have trading strategy, doesn't matter. If you are not following, okay, okay, I'll continue. Uh, psychological, uh, what affecting in our mind, so you, you must control the factor. So I'll show you what psychological factor are affecting in our, and we must avoid that psychological factor during our, our trade. One I'll show you, and when psych that psychological factor are uh, comes in our mind uh, by one. Uh, so first. Okay, just a minute, let me show you. Okay. So you must factor. Either whatever you are uh, day trader, swing trader, whatever you does, must avoid that psychological factor, then you will be a profitable data. And 90% people lose their money only because of psychology. If you have all best if you are not following the psychological factor and position sizing, so you never be a profitable trader, right? And I'll show you three psychological factor. I'll show you how it affect in your trading. All right. So can I start now? Okay. Okay. Now let me tell you a one by one and I'll show you exactly. All right. Why most data are failure? Because uh, we, because I already met more little part people who lose their money in this market. Even I'm guiding most of the people and they are profitable. All right. So according to my analysis and according to my knowledge, why most of the data are failure? I'll show you one by one. So most of the new trader rush into a new trade after lose few trade recovery the previous losses. All right. I think most of the it happened with you. Lost uh, more, uh, two to three trade in the same time. At that time, you are thinking that. I must reco recover what I already lost. Now, at that time, you become very rash and entering enter in this market. Getting any confirmation without any, like, just entering in this market. And remember, don't do this thing. Don't rush. If otherwise, hit your ass and leave the market. Don't try to recover it. Don't be rash. All right. Most of the people are. Desire to take revenge on the market after lose. So people lose their money in this market. So you just taking revenge, right? And after that, you are thinking that I have to uh, recovery what I already lost it and uh, psychologically it's affecting in your brain and after that you are entering in this market are doing this thing next fear taking next valid trade after serious uh, series of losing so when uh, you people are losing your money continuously two to three times all right you are uh, you have fear uh, to take a valid 
every indicator are showing us it to buy some fairness is coming in your mind that is why you are not taking the bell trade in a losing trade hoping market turn around it's a half and only it's a very more uh, it's the most important sector when you uh, when suppose uh, let me tell you so, uh, somewhere here all right uh, you are thinking that market will go up market is coming downside right then you are just hoping that turn from this area you have seen some support are there I have to wait market will turn from this area again they break and again you are hoping that market will turn from but when market is a downtrend they never turn remember so that is why you just close your uh, position and come out from the market why it happen i will show you one by one so it is uh, i'm explaining the original factor uh, uh, it's uh, affecting in your brain during the trade all right so next focus on short term result don't focus on short term result what is the meaning of short term result you are looking for only day profit you never focus on one month later what is your return after six months your result after one year what is the result you never focus you focus on day one only remember don't focus on one day or two day result always focus how many percent you uh, you earn end of the month all right you always focus this thing consistently changing your trading system most of the trader uh, they are just visiting to youtube and finding various type of uh, trading system or trading strategy so my recommend you you just focus on one trading strategy and develop it don't change again and again right there is no 100 percent trading strategy who will give you 100 percent accurate don't do that blame and find external reason for their loser lose so once they lost their money they are blaming others they are finding different region, internet region, broker region, uh, etc., etc. They are finding various type of regions, and don't blame other. Blame yourself. They have lost once money. Find out the region why. All right. Now let me tell you one by one uh, what is the most important thing you must avoid all right one by one fear and hope three things always affect in your trading uh, journey all right so let me show you how greedy affect during our trade all right so let me tell you uh, this is uh, like uh, one uh, emotion one factor so just a minute so let me read the comment okay all right hold on just a minute let me okay Okay, voice is okay, right? So most of the people are okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now let me tell you greed, how greed are affecting. All right. Now suppose first uh, people suppose here we have seen some entry point we, we bought here. All right. Trading strategy is that, and we are doing position sizing, everything we are following, we have a trading strategy. And after that, we place our SL somewhere here, one or 
and we place our first target to R. All right. So once I order and we booked our profit first. So after that, we have seen price gone up. In that case, what happened? Greedy is coming in, in, in our mind. Isn't it? Most of the people it's happened. You can, you, can, you can think yourself. When once hit our target, if price goes further from that, uh, greedy is coming in our mind. Am I right? So after that, you people are thinking, we will uh, place our uh, target uh, like four hour. So I would, I would profit at least like four hour at that time. So suppose you book 2000 profit in this area, 2K. So after that, we have seen price gone up from this area and we are, uh, we are thinking, hey, I need to uh, uh, set my target at least four hour, like 4,000, right? 4K, like that. We are thinking later. So that is called greediness. Greediness is coming. All right. Next, you can see, again, next trade, you enter here, buy, and after that, you, your uh, 2R was here, but you didn't place 2R. You have seen first scenario are there, price gone up up to 4R. So you extended your target to 4R. So what happened next time? Price hit the 2R, but you didn't book your profit and you extended your target. And after that, you didn't hit this 4R target and price dropped down from this area. So that means greedy may make you a low. Greedy may cause you to rise the profit too high. It may become a losing trade. All right. Got it. First, we have seen there is a 2R, and but price gone up, up to 4R. And the next time you are thinking, then you will uh, extend your target to 4R. What happened? You can see. They failed to hit your target and price drop down and hit your SL. That is called greedy and don't be target. Always follow the trading system. So once greedy comes in your mind, there is no trading system. No trading system work for you. So that is why leave the greediness. All right, leave the greediness. Use the maintenance system and trade according to that system. Don't let them come this greedy, greediness, all right. So next, fear. Most of the time it happened, fear. Most of the people are losing their money because of fear, right? Let me tell you, let me, let me explain this example. But here you place uh, according to your trading strategy, there was two R, all right, two R here. So first you bought here and you place your SL somewhere here and price gone up, they didn't hit your two R price drop down. First, you lose your money first trade. Second, again, you enter somewhere here, buy, didn't hit your uh, target again, price drop down. You will look under trade. There is next again, you enter buy again, price didn't hit your target, and again, prices uh, fell down and hit your SL. Now, fairness is coming. Now, what happened? Fairness is coming in, in our mind. And you are thinking at least uh, here you can see at least 1.5 profit, but I didn't book here again. Price drop down. Next time you are thinking, I will book my profit when price will go at least R. So next next what here when price gone little more high one R, you book your profit. 
next time you can see price gone up now you become a regret now you are thinking when i bought three time all three time price reverse back and hit my sl when i close my position in one hour but they gone up from this area now it's just psychology uh, psychological you are thinking somebody are watching my um what called market all right when i close my position at that time market gone when i hold my position to this level but every day or every time price is dropping down here is coming now some doubt is watching my market right when i close my position then it gone up and when i uh, hold my position it's reversing back remember nobody our it happens sometimes but you never never uh, like uh, never let them come the fairness always maintain your trading system if they're uh, again they are uh, like all right again if again and again if they are uh, like a target are uh, slr targeting toward the sl so leave it the market doesn't matter but don't book your profit earlier all right next hope hope is another different thing all right how hope are affecting in our uh trading journey all right so suppose we bought somewhere here after breaking this uh resistant line we have seen this is the resistant line somewhere here we have seen the resistant broke uh, breakout and we bought here somewhere all right so after that we have seen price drop down hit our sl later price gone up now what happened most of the people are thinking hey where i place my sl exactly hit there after that price are continued toward upside i was right at that time but uh, i place my sl one hour so next time you are thinking i will i'll place my sl too high right I will extend my SL. So, what happened? Let's see. So, suppose somewhere here you bought here. All right. You can see here somewhere you bought, price is just dropping down. Somewhere here was your SL. But uh, by seeing this PBS experience, you just extend to SL this level. So, after that, you have seen you first you place sl somewhere here and extend to this area right so after that you see seen price just gone a little more i just continuous continuously pointing toward upside right so now you are thinking hey i i have done good job right so at that time you are thinking if i would place my sl in this area it already hit and again price is reversing back so i i have done a good uh, like a uh, I already took a good decision price is going up like that like that hey now i am a profitable and next price is dropping down right again gone up a little more now you can you have seen prices again dropping down now we are thinking that hoping now hope is coming in your brain right hope is coming in your brain now you can see prices dropping down then what you uh, you are going to do you are extending again sl right from this area to this area you extend it now again price is dropping down right so you extend it to this level sl so that means you are extending your level now there is no trading system are following your trading system is one hour this is one hour right but now here you can see uh risk already gone up to four hour right so because because of hope you people are extending your sl because you have seen previous market scenario so price gone up but we never know in which direction market will go so in that case we are extending the sl so after that you can see price uh, just a minute price hit your sl have you seen 
So that own hope that market will reverse back from this area. So you just always maintain your uh, trading system. If you are taking 1% risk, leave it the market. Let them hit 1%, doesn't matter. If you extend your SL too high, if you lose your money in a single trade, four to five percent, if continuously if three to four percent, uh, five to six trade going in favor of you, that means you are going to lose. That means it will affect in your portfolio. All right. So later you can't recover it. Trust that's on like greedy, angry revenge. Everything will come. So always maintain your psychological uh, factor hope here and greedy all right do you have any query here do you have any doubt you just tell me All right, do you have any doubt here? You just ask me. Okay, okay. 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 All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, one by one. Also explain how can one control this emotion by one. I'll, I'll, I'll explain very, very interesting question, Mr. Rajas how uh okay also explain up nikita gupta also explain how uh can one control okay by one there is no indicator or like a software to control your emotion or psychological factor. All right. You can control only by using trading system. So in that case, users create a trading system. So let me tell you what is the meaning of trading system. In trading system, there is three things are there. Right. Uh, this is called trading system, TS. I just wrote here, TS. And there is three part. One is 10% are affecting in your trading system. One is 30% and another 60%. All right, 60%. Let me tell you one by one. How to control factor? Most important, people doesn't know how to control their psychological factor. Most of the people are doing meditation, something, something. Remember, it will not work. Whatever you do, you will never find any indicator or system where you can control your psychology. If you want to control your psychology, you must create a trading system. In trading system, there is one that is called trading strategy. And that was system. All right. In trading system, there is three quality you must develop one called trading strategy. Next, position sizing. You must do your position sizing. You must follow position sizing. Position sizing tell us how many share need to buy in a single trade. That is called position sizing. That is called money management. That means if you are going to trade in this market, if you are wrong, so you are not going to lose 
big amount of money means you are going to lose only one or two percent in single trade we need a trading strategy you just find out a trading strategy who will impact in your trading system only 10 percent most of the uh, most of the people are focusing only trading strategy remember trading strategy and trading system both are different things trading strategy tell us when to buy shares when now in uh it is a breakout point right according to the trend line breakout this is our buy opportunity who tell us trading strategy are telling us this strategy called breakout trading strategy suppose you are following breakout trading strategy now this breakout trading strategy are telling us that this is a buy entry remember this trading strategy only help you 10 percent to success to become a successful trader the people are focusing only trading strategy right if you if you have a world best trading strategy that means you have only 50 5 to 65 percent win ratio remember there is no heligal uh, holigal trading strategy in the world who will give you 100 percent accuracy there is no trading strategy remember and write down what i'm telling you there is no holigal trading strategy in the world who will give you 100 percent accuracy if you find world best trading strategy their winning ratio will be only 55 to 65 only all right this trading strategy only impact your trading success only 10 percent remember only 10 more than not more than only 10 percent it will help next 30 percent impact position sizing right if you are not following the position sizing or you are not doing the position sizing uh, position sizing means uh position sizing tell us how many share we need to buy in a single all right if you have one lakh money you can buy five thousand six thousand share if price goes against you you will lose entire money in a single trade most of the people are uh it's happen with them they are placing one trade and holding that one they are hoping that price will go up right they never close their position because they have seen they place they have suppose somebody have one so in that case he bought somewhere right and price dropped down now that person people are that people are losing thirty thousand so this guy can close his position he lost their 30 in a single trade right now psychological factor is coming uh, we need to do the position sizing position sizing most important thing let them hit once or twice again and again suppose you trade three trade right uh, uh, let me explain two guy are there right uh, let me open and blank face then it comes to know all right now suppose two guys are there here and here another one is here all right uh, this guy let me tell you one by one right most important thing remember if you are fail to do this thing you will never be a profitable hundred percent you assure hundred percent i'm giving hundred percent sure you will not you will be not a profitable trader if you are not following uh these two things then all right position sizing and trading strategy most important after that i'll i'll, I'll explain about psychological factor right so this guy uh he don't have trading system right he don't have trading system this guy he's don't don't have trading system ts and this guy have trading system all right now both are trading same trade they are doing first trade done this guy lose 10 percent 
all right let me let me let me show you this guy this guy lose 10 percent treated among treated all right treated both did like treated all right this guy first lose 10 percent next rate uh, sorry 10 percent next next day he lost 20 percent in a single trade all right next day again 10 percent treated done and he following trading system his uh, system is that every trade he is taking only two percent risk among two percent risk he entire two percent two percent and the two percent he lost only six percent lost entire his capital and then this guy who uh, who uh, this guy uh, he don't have any trading system he not uh, he is never uh, like never did any position sizing at that time now he lose how many percent 40 percent right 40 percent now when 40 percent entire his capital every psychological factor will affect him fairness greediness emotion frustration revenge whatever every psychological factor will affect this guy because he lost his 40 percent capital but this guy have trading system and he lost six percent and this guy never affect psychological factor all right that is the most important thing all right how to control so suppose uh, now uh, now you have a trading system right you have a trading system 10 percent just a minute let me change the color 10 percent all right 30 percent and a 60 percent 60 percent psychological factor are affecting now you have a best trading system all right trading system uh trading strategy now you have and you are following position sizing if you are going to trade in that means every trade you are going to lose two percent only when it goes in favor of you you are earning four percent that 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 is called trading ratio got it trading ratio means suppose market is running like that and you bought somewhere here in this area price broke you enter buy here you bought here and you place your SL, this is called SL, stop loss, and this area call 1% or 2%, whatever you are taking risk per trade. Suppose you are taking 2% risk in a single trade, 2% R, and you are targeting 4%, here you can see 4%, 4% R, or you can say R, that means if, you are uh, you done unlike five trade among the five trade you are two winner two trade are winner and three trade are loser right so that means two trade winner that means one trade you are earning four into four that means you are earning eight r got it and here you can see two into three into two losing six r right six r now you can see ultimately you are two percent profitable right the two percent is 300 trading day if you continue or consistently you profit two percent you just think it 600 percent profit but it is uh, not possible every day. You think it, all right, that is why we need a position sizing, most important. If you have like position sizing, 
you know how to do position sizing and you have a good trading strategy then you can control your you are following everything you know so once or twice trade it's going against me it's okay i'm not going to lose huge amount of money then psychology will never never affect in your brain if in a single trade you are losing 30 percent 20 percent 10 percent in a single trade definitely you can't control your psychology so that is why you need a trading system trading system will help you to control your psychology all right is it clear yeah i think uh, mm, all right okay okay uh, nikita gupta i think you uh, able to understand right how to control your psychology uh sir once again tell a okay fear how fear is coming most important thing mr rajas i'm telling you fear you will fear will defeat you definitely most of the people are losing their money because of only three things only these three things suppose uh you got an opportunity to enter buy here but we have seen our risk is one hour right one hour your trade according to your trading system so you bought here and your target is somewhere here two hour because our trading ratio is to one is to two if it's one rupees that means i'm going to earn two rupees that is the important thing that means uh to earn two rupees you are ready to lose one rupees that is called a ratio trading ratio always maintain all that means profit target always should be bigger than sl that is called trading ratio suppose our r is one r we are taking one person risk and so let me tell you in a simple word you are placing one rupees below sl and target is too clear all right now first you enter here price gone up a little more but didn't hit your target means they didn't uh, went two rupees and price dropped down you lose one rupees now all right next trade you enter here again price gone at least one rupees or 1.5 rupees but didn't reach two rupees again price drop down now you lost two two trade right third time you enter here buy again price gone up again drop down you lost three trade continuously in a single now fairness is coming in your brain now rising yourself in that case if i would close my position in one rupees or 50 pesa or 30 pesa i would i would be a profitable now you're thinking next time i will close my position within a one rupees or whatever i'm getting instead of losing money now you are thinking that instead of losing money i need to close my position within a one rupees because first scenario we you, you have seen now fairness is coming in our brain next trade when you enter here when price gone up a little more you close your position because of fairness you know previous pre, in previous market experience you you already seen that three losses are continuously because you didn't book your profit earlier next time you book your profit early i skip in this area but suppose if you think that uh here we have seen here price gone up and sl is one rupees all right and the target if you are booking in 60 pesa right 60 pesa or like that you are not a you are not following the position sizing that case you are ready to earn 60 pesa by losing one rupees that is why you must follow the rule whatever let them hit how many times it, because you are not going to lose huge amount of money in this case right in this situation you are not going to lose huge amount of money you are going to lose only one r or two r entire capital that means if you have one leg at that time you are going to one thousand rupees to lose only one thousand rupees in this case right so that is why leave it 
So if you follow that things, it will never affect in your psychology. All right. Otherwise, you can't control your psychology and psychology will kill you. And you just think yourself and you just see your trading history. If you are doing 100 trades, I'm sure among the 100, 50, more than 50 trades are profitable. So suppose let's assume 50 50, almost at least 50 50, 50 trade profitable, 50 trade losing, right? Uh, losing trade. But ultimately, your account is in loss because you are not doing position sizing. You are booking your profit very earlier. That means you are bearing long uh, SL, but you are not booking your profit according to your SL, right? That means book profit is uh, less than SL. That is why in, among the 50-50 trade, you are a lose, uh, loser. Is it clear? All right. Next one by one. Mm, how to control fear? Yeah, fear. That that means you don't uh, buy huge amount of uh, lot at that time. Never. You always sizing. All right. How to control hope and emotion? All right. Every psychological factor, if you want to control, you must have a trading system. In a single trade, don't buy huge amount of share, stocks, whatever. Okay. You just make a trading system. How we know the actual position uh, recovered this PNF? So we have seen in this scenario that market never goes like against you. It might once or twice it goes against, but if you have a good trading uh, strategy, definitely among the uh, 100 trade, it will uh, 50 to 60 in favor of you, right? Might be 40 to 30, it will go against you. In this uh, 30 to 40, which trade goes against you, they will make you fear, all right? Okay, uh, so we are failing to put stop loss. It correctly hit our SL and goes to target. So that you were suggesting for skip like. Yeah, that is uh, people, uh, most of the time. So uh, where to place SL, it will tell you trading strategy. So you just learn how to place a trading strategy. I think I already made video how to place SL exactly when to enter in this market. That is the most important. All right. You just uh, visit to my YouTube channel. So I already explained and I'm creating various type of unique trading strategies out there. All right. Uh, target what suggestion is skip like the bank nifty crude away everywhere 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 which trading strategy is this rupam does so there is no hundred percent accurate trading strategy everybody have a own strategy whatever you have trading strategy develop it don't jump again whatever every trading strategy is same almost there, uh, no, no trading strategy will give you 100% accurate. No trading strategy will give you 100% accurate. So whatever trading strategy, you, you just find out according to you. Find out according to you which trading strategy is suitable for you. Which trading strategy is most smooth and better for you, not other. Find out and develop that one and consistently trade. Consistently. You if if there is a uh, like a fact point you just find out how to filter that problem right filter that one how to create trading system and trading strategy okay so trading system that means uh, you must develop three quality in trading system there is a all right let me show you in trading system uh let me show you, okay. 
Well, okay, okay. Okay, let me let me one by one. So I think you people still does know. So once it happened, what uh, what you think? What you people are doing? So let me explain one by one, right? So one, again and again, when you lose your money, then you sit like that. This guy is sitting like that. You just sit like that air and thinking yourself. All right, what are you are thinking? Trading strategy doesn't work. After that, after losing your money, you people are thinking trading strategy doesn't work. Then after that, what do you will do? Add more indicator. You just visit website and uh, YouTube and adding more indicators. After that, change the strategy. You people are changing the strategy. First, people are trading by using MACD. Uh, some people are trading using VUF, uh, Super 10. After that, when uh, you will lose your money, then you. After that, you are thinking market have changed, right? After that, you completely change the market. So, who people are trading in commodity when they are losing money in commodity, they switch to stocks. When they lost their money in stocks, they switch to option forex like that completely change after that the people are thinking quit not for me so they are thinking so i have to quit the stock or trading and i have to find another job and another profession right it's happened now what successful trader does the successful trader are disciplined and follow the trading system consistently remember this word consistently remember once they fail or once they lost their money they never change their strategy they are following consistently i'll show you exactly right they are disciplined we knows we knows that we must be a disciplined trader but how what is the discipline what is the meaning of discipline discipline to become a discipline you must have some rules and regulation we know the armies very disciplined guys do you think this army are following only once in a day or in a year that rules and regulation no they are consistently they are following we know uh, school boys or school children are disciplined every day they go to school and pray themselves they're consistently doing what rules are there they are following their rules consistently that is why they are disciplined right so we people we don't have any rules in this market and if we don't have any rules then what we will follow then who how we will be a disciplined trader we can be a disciplined trader if we don't have any rules uh, regulation <clears throat> what is the rules and regulation that is why i told we have entry rules who will tell who tell us trading strategy will tell us and we must follow that strategy consistently not once or twice only we no need to think in again and again right trading system you have a own trading entry and what what is the meaning of trading system trading system means the specific rules to enter in this market specific rules means it will be different for the different guy some people are trading using mscd that is the trade entry and exit rule for that guy suppose this guy this guy follow on mscd MSCD, right? MSCD is the entry and exit rules for this guy, and this guy follow according to RSI. This is guy RSI trader. This guy called Fibonacci trader. Fibonacci trader, right? Fibonacci trader. This guy, uh, super trend trader, super trend trader. So all are different all have on on uh, entry and exit rules this guy have rsi rules this guy fibo rules this guy super trend rules this guy MSD rule trading strategy 
tell us specific uh, uh, tell us when to enter in this market they have a specific rule to enter in this market when this guy consistently following MSCD, that is called discipline. Someday he it is someday he's following RSI, someday he's following FIBO, someday following uh, Super 10. That is not a discipline guy. He put different different strategies, right? He is not following one indicator consistently. All right. So you must have a trading strategy. Next. Position sizing, you must do position sizing. Without position sizing, trading strategy will not work for you, right? That is the important thing, all right? So now look how success does, how they trade, even we are, we are following. I know every and I wrote more than 100, 200 uh, indicators in three websites. So, uh, every day I'm writing in three websites and I'm writing about how to trade, what is the logic behind this indicator, how to read everything, but I never follow all of them. Specific rules in this market. If I'm getting opportunity, definitely according to my rules, I will enter in this market. Otherwise, I never enter. Right, because I system, I'm a disciplined guy. All right, so uh, uh, professional profitable traders does sell on certain rule, technical or fundamental. Certain rule, remember, buy and sell certain rule. I have a certain rule. My rule is one is breakout trading breakout uh, trading strategy btc and the next back trading strategy bbtc one is um, breakout trading strategy that means like that here uh, we have seen trend line here i enter here this is my bounce back uh, breakout trading strategy i'm telling and another bounce back trading strategy. Moving average is running like that. Up and all moving average is running, pointing upside. They are running like that. And for a bounce back, exactly bounce enter for the buy. I am doing like that. It's called bounce back trading strategy. I follow. This is two specific trading strategy I follow. After that, I'm using various or whatever. Exactly entry point. I will enter according to the bounce back strategy, but I use another indicator for further confirmation. Remember, that is my strategy. So you must find out your strategy. Next, always take a position when trade is value probability. Or in my video, I always explain probability trade. All right. So I never jump blindly in this market. Most of the people are losing their money only because of FOMO, fear. Sorry to enter in this market because of fearness. That is called fear of missing out. They are thinking if I would not, if I'm not entering right, I miss the opportunity without getting any confirmation. People are entering in this market. Yeah. That's like that, all right. We are looking for a valid and high probability trade. Exactly, we enter in that case. Either they are going against me, doesn't matter, I'm going to lose only one percent. If I'm uh, if, if prices me, I'm earning four percent. One point one point five percent. All right. And now you can see never buy or more emotion and other opinion most of the people are thinking hey uh they are news channel on top of this news channel and thing like big analysts are talking and listening them and buying according to their opinion that their people are losing don't do that create your own strategy trading system follow the money management psychology enter according to you don't listen other uh, who people are uh, in 
on behind them uh, matter i don't want to explain about them all right that is a big player inside something other there i'm not going to explain about them all right. never buy or sell from fear of missing out that is the already told you always accept lose as a part of trading most of the people people are not able to accept thing lose lose uh, lose is your uh, as a part of right so we can't bear lose right so once we lose our money we are we are we are pressed to take revenge in this market so don't do that accept it remember uh, this one all right focus on long term perspective long term uh long term uh, what call all right long term goal all right so always uh, think about what return will come end of the month end of the month to be a profitable have to be a profitable don't think for today only so i already told about that one all right uh, the, let me read one by one okay we study how to uh, position sizing i'm a moderate okay risk taker should i always go for single trade booking as a should we look great and uh yeah I, another thing let me let me tell you let me tell you most important most of the people are thinking so i okay so now we can i'm talking about me in a single time ever trade more than three got it what what is the meaning so to place uh, sbi i bond uh, bought as i bought uh, some uh, sun pharma pharma i bought uh, like a tcs all right so suppose i bought three in this case so and again i have seen hdfc is the c i p so suppose i have seen i already bought here right i bought buy i buy i already bought three stock i have seen hdfc in tcs uh, i have seen buy opportunity but i never trade i never trade remember in a single time i trade only three stocks in sbi we booked our profit now we have seen uh, two stock now we can stock but in a single time i never three stocks in a single time if my three trade are up uh, my three trade are open or four stocks all right once next i bought remember never buy more than three stocks because in a single time suppose all three stock sbi whatever three stocks goes against uh, all three stock that means you are going to lose only two percent two percent two percent all right that was only six percent not more than in a single time so if you bought 10 stock 20 stock in a single time uh, if you have bought uh, 10 stocks into that means you are going to lose 20 percent if you lose in a single time and definitely it will impact in your psychology that is why don't do that all right nice what is the best tc uh, trading system so it is a different people's have strategy so that is why my trading strategy is bounce back trading strategy and break uh, breakout trading strategy after that i'm using another confirmation more confirmation all right simplest trading strategy 
is every uh, strategy is very easy because uh, you just follow me on my YouTube channel, then you comes to know every day I'm telling you and I'm analyzing the market. And at that time, I'm explaining the trading strategy. All right. All right. Rupam does kindly say, tell simple trading system. All trading system are same thing according to me, but basically I use bounce back trading strategy and breakout trading strategy and every day what trading strategy today we are going to suppose i'm in crude oil so at that time i every day who people are following me they come to know what trading strategy i'm going to use and when to enter in this market so i'm explaining exactly uh, if i am trading five lot at a time should i manage my target point like should i book all lot single tar target i did a lot to different target point explain the moderate risk yeah that is the important in that case we are, the mr nikita gupta uh, asked me so let me what uh, he or she, she i think she they asked me yeah, uh, what uh so uh, we have seen market is somewhere here uh that is a break Just let me change the color again and again, again and again. So suppose, so suppose, uh, there is a breakout. So let me properly exactly. So now we can see according to how she is telling me. So suppose she enter here five lot. Five lot. So this area we have seen our SL stop loss and stop loss is showing one R. And first we have seen there is a two two and somewhere here four R. Right, all right. Now she is asking to me. So when i bought here and, and target target hit my hit my target in 2 r can i close my five i can close three lot and i can keep two lot to this area so see exactly asking in that case we are looking for momentum of it's very uh deep analysis so later i'll explain Hold our position. When to tail up? Some time we have seen prices continuously bullish. Then again, uh, three is here, two or three R is here, but market goes up to ten R, uh, eight R like that. So when to tail our? When to not? In that case, momentum of this candle momentum of this market so it is a uh, little more complicated in next uh, uh, video or next webinar i'll definitely i'll i'll tell you how we uh, how to how we comes to know the market will go up up to 10 or when market will go reverse back from this area so basically you just close your position in this area all right Basically, you just close your, just con consistently follow that system. All right. So next video, I'll tell you because this is another complicated analysis. So I'll tell you momentum or not. Please give your YouTube channel name. Okay, you will find me uh, in my name only. You just go to Depend Google. My E W I P all right d w i p e n pen go go you just write down like that g o 
website deep and go go you will find me all right in my youtube channel name and most of the my uh, student are there all right so uh, create channel because most of the my uh, students they demand so that is when i create this youtube so uh, let me tell you why because uh, why i'm not interested to create youtube channel uh, because when i'm creating a video in you it's take at least one hour one hour right one hour right so in one hour I so if i trade in this market in stock market commodity market or forex market if i trade so i can earn enough money but uh, my student they are uh, they already told me sir you just create a youtube and explain and again and again otherwise we are forgetting that method so it will if you are creating that video that like uh, revising that knowledge so that is why i'm creating all right so most of the people are focusing to earn money and do, they are doing monetization or something uh, because trading is different than enough money if you know properly all right how what uh, how many much i can earn in youtube right if you have uh, if you have uh, if i have one then how much i learn one lakh 50000 right in trading it is not a big deal if you know properly if you have trading strategy suppose if you are earning 2% in a day it is very easy if you follow consistently then 40% return in your capital that means if you have 1 lakh rupees so you can earn 20 uh, sorry 40000 right 40000 rupees you can earn but that is too much suppose if you are earning 1% in a day that means how much you are earning right so 20 days there is 20 days trading and uh, 20% you are earning that means if you have One lakh. That means you are earning twenty thousand. All right. If you have five lakhs, then how much you are earning? If you have ten lakh rupees, then you just think, what is your income? So that is why I am focusing on market basically. So I am not focusing on YouTube basically. So this YouTube I am creating only because of uh, knowledge, because my students are asking me. All right. I don't have any intention to earn money from YouTube by creating various type of YouTube. So replying them, creating them. All right. So you just subscribe because every day I'm giving update in market. All right. How uh, the eligible algo trading system is affecting and revamp our fear? Ah, no, <laughs> Mr. Konal M. Algo don't have. any psychology factor that is the robot there is no psychological factor but before you create a algo or before you going to trade with algo you must have a good robot or trading system so robot will do what we are telling us telling them All right so you have you must have a good strategy and put that robot will do without hearing i follow break out uh, pull back it is this is right yeah pull back is good so always maintain okay so i'm not happy okay happy pongal happy pongal yeah i i i love it i love it i yeah because we we celebrate pongal i like that festival yeah thank you i like pungal i was there because basically i uh, i am from bangalore or uh, right now i am in assam but uh, basically i stay in bangalore all right nice 
can I really order somebody for trading strategy? Can we? Yeah, you can. Definitely, you can do. Uh, Manu, Manu Najan. Yeah, BK. Sundarajan. Can we please explain once more about position sizing? Okay, please. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll explain position sizing. Can I trade only in bank nifty? I feel it's less risk than stocks. Your opinion. Rupam Das. Yeah, bank nifty is an indices, right? In this, remember, in the world, you can see there is no indices. Uh, very smarter, right? So every day in this is going up. Sometime price is dropping down, that is called pullback. So if you want to see the history of these indices, ultimately always in uptrend. Sometime indices just falling down. So I already uh, given a call like my student in ETF, Bank Nifty ETS. I think August, uh, something I already posted that video that we are going to buy ETF, right? And we closed ETF. So I think uh, four to five days ago, I created that Bank Nifty video who people are following. So we closed our position and me and my students, we closed our position because we are expecting that Bank Nifty is a time to uh, retracement, right? It's a time to retracement. Whatever you see, the, Sensex, Nifty, Dozon, uh, FTSC, uh, Hang, whatever you say, world, world uh, indices always goes up ultimately. All right. But there is a inner research during the resistance times or some event, there is a pullback. All right. So if you want to trade for the long term position, you go to ETF. ETF always goes up. All right. And Bank Nifty. Yeah, definitely it's uh, most uh, most of the people are doing trade in magnifty yeah it's happened i know it's happened maximum time stock hit sl and going to upward sandeep pande yeah that that is the most that uh, that is the most important thing you people have to develop where to enter in this market right why it's happened i'm telling you there is a very big uh, quote most of the people are using even I also following that most important thing you can see let me tell you price is going up like that like that and exactly people are entering here buy because why people are buying in this area main thing here you can see FO FOMO here of missing out people are entering here when price is going up people are entering buy and exactly they enter when price is overbought zone and try to retrace toward downside at that time the people are entering right so uh, that code is there you be always panic when price are exciting so that means you be uh, careful when price people are exciting and be uh, excited when people are fearful now in this area in this area people are excited but you must be a uh, fearful means it is time to reverse back again now when price is dropping down people are fearful at that time the people are fearful now you be excited and enter here for the buy this is your buy opportunity and exactly people are placing sl here and price will hit your sl and continue toward upside it is happened so don't buy when price is too high too far from the moving averages so i'll i'll show you all right so one by one Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Defend Go Boy. So please share video in the street intraday stocks. Okay, every day, every day I'm 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 explaining intraday stocks. 
how we can know the range of this stock intraday so every day i'm explaining and i'm giving my youtube uh, channel what stock today we are going to buy every day all right sir trade crude oil yeah, sir i trade in crude oil nice everybody when i'm doing trade in crude oil how require uh, how require in capital okay uh, intraday they are giving uh, different brokers giving different leverages so you just go there crude oil you can trade only a major lot so there is a every every broker have own calculator you just go there you will find okay 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 let me show you something uh, here So this is crude oil. I think every day I'm analyzing, and this video I think two people are following me on my YouTube channel. I told that in this area I uh, I uh, told that I'm going to buy put option in this area, and I given a target around four one nine two exactly nine two here you can see, and price drop from this area and exactly in that day i earn enough money but uh, that is not a big deal by uh, bought a put option at that time uh, uh, us president donald trump's speech was there so in that case i bought put option so in my video before i buy this put option i release uh, youtube video and most of the people who bought put option all right so before giving market uh, moment i always create a video and i upload in my youtube channel all right so my okay okay you just uh, type my name dupen gogoi you'll find my in my uh you you'll see my youtube all right okay how to find intraday stocks so every day i'm uh, i'm i'm releasing uh, uh, youtube video for intraday how to how to show stocks for intraday trading and you just follow me in my youtube channel every day i'm releasing okay i'm interested to learn option selling okay that is the most important and uh, mr yusuf remember don't trade in naked in option don't be a naked trader all right so if you wanna sell in option and always buy op option also there are strategies that is called uh, covered call trading strategy like that like that so once i'll give uh, a seminar how to trade in option because i am a big option trader all right because i have own trading portfolio because i'm a day trader where i trade in stocks and commodity and I'm a long-term investor, so I invest money for the long-term tenure. I'm holding my positions. All right. So there is a different method, uh, different analysis method for the positions, uh, long-term position and option that is a different, totally different. There, there are different trading strategies, and I never trade in naked, but I trade in option during big news. Uh, I'm a naked uh, when I trade option when a big had like uh like two or three days ago i think there was a uh obama speech was there right so that is why i thought uh, there there will be a big market mom, uh, moment right so that is why i bought a uh, option that was naked right so i just pay a premium either market goes i'm not going to lose enough money I lose a only premium, right? Otherwise, in sideways market, don't trade in naked in option, right? That is the important, most important. Okay, can we can can we can can we change the stock? Uh, can we trade in same stocks every day to say say no 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 you don't you can't say Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Yadav don't trade in the same stocks. Always find out which stock are tradable for today. Right, Konsa stock ham as state kar sakenge. 
क्योंकि हम वी कैन ट्रेड इन एवरी स्टॉक बिकॉज मार्केट लाइक एवरी स्टॉक नेवर रन अगेन वेन देर रन लाइक जब वो लोग थोड़ा मतलब जाता है सॉरी आई माय हिंदी सो सो टू टू बैड टू बैड सो व्हेन स्टॉक रन लाइक दैट आफ्टर दैट प्राइस ऑलवेज बिकम अ साइडवे राइट सो वी नेवर ट्रेड इन साइडवे मार्केट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर अ लार्ज मोमेंटम स्टॉक सो वी मस्ट फाइंड आउट दैट वन सो इंटर डे आई ऑलवेज एक्सप्लेनिंग इन माय YouTube चैनल दैन टुमारो इन व्हिच स्टॉक आई विल बाय एवरी डे आई एम रिलीजिंग एंड एंड वेयर आई विल बाय I'll show you. So yesterday you can see. Let me show you some. Okay. All right, guys. This is my YouTube channel name. You just uh, see here. Every day I'm releasing. Uh, you just my name in YouTube channel. You'll find, and you just ring that icon. So otherwise you will uh, you will not is uh, you will not get a, a notification, right? So that is why. okay you can see yesterday uh, i bought two stocks right one is uh what called them gale and wipro i bought yesterday so every day i am telling them what stock i am going to trade so here you can see i bought uh, two stock uh gale and another is wipro and i bought around 933 gale and 941 uh we pro all right so and in that case you can see i close my gale uh 945 within 12 minute within 12 minute within 12 minute i close my position and then next you can see um we pro i bought 941 and i close 951 have you seen within 10 minute so let me show you here uh where i bought gale let me let me let me let me show you exactly gale i bought here you can see this is gale have you seen ah uh, right yeah this is gale and i exactly bought in this area and i closed my position in this area all right have you seen i bought 9 33 and within 10 minute now you can see just a minute so let me change the here let me change here uh change the time frame then it comes to no 5 minutes all right let me change to 5 minutes okay let me show you just a minute yeah let me change to 5 minute yeah so now you can see here uh, this is 5 minute chart i exactly bought here 9 33 and i come here by getting uh, 2 rupees profit 2 rupees that means 4r according to me all right 4r 2 rupees means 4r i am doing position sizing all right so i close my position and after all you can see after that price drop down All right, you can see my here. Uh, when I close, when I close, within ten minutes, within ten minutes, I close my position. Gale nine thirty three, I bought, and nine forty five, I close. And next, you can see nine forty one, I bought with Pro. So let me show you with Pro. With Pro, I just suddenly I close at that time. Uh, with Pro here, you can see with Pro. Uh, and the market open 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 uh let me show you yesterday 10 10 10 10 1 10 yeah exactly here you can see uh this is uh, this candle i bought here exactly uh 941 and i closed my position here uh within 10 minute 5 minute 5 minute 5 minute 10 minute i closed my position i got the confirmation that price will continue toward the downside and i close my position and here i earn only 1r and 2r uh, sorry uh, sorry 4r 1r and 4r total i earn 5r that means if i trade 1 lakh that means i am earning 5000 that is the 
मैन ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रेटेजी और राइट ओके ओके इज देर एनी मेथड ऑफ बुकिंग पोर्शनल प्रॉफिट इन सो आई प्लेस बैकेट ऑर्डर बिकॉज आई सेट माय एसएल एंड टारगेट और राइट सो आई थिंक नाउ ट्वेल्व थर्टी पीएम so almost one and half one and half hour uh so uh, thanks uh, for your valuable time and i hope you people able to understand uh, how to trade and how to do the position sizing and exactly so how to control and how psychological factor are affecting in our trading journey so uh thanks for giving your valuable time and thanks for uh watching have a good day